Pleased to be joined here on The Drop by the one and only Mark Messier. Of course, you are here uh, to do the game between the Rangers and the Capitals on ESPN. Yourself, Chris Chelio, Steve Levy. But you're joining us here on The Drop before, and how are you? This is the most important part of the day. It's <laughs> great to be with you guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Forget about all the other stuff. Yeah. I'm with you guys. <laughs> Let's go. So one of the fun things we like to do here on the show is because we are rights holders here at ESPN, we can pick any highlight we want in history. Okay. And in honor of you sitting next to us here, okay. I figured, you know what, NHL highlight next. Were you able to find one? Yeah, uh, several. Okay. You good. won the cup okay. one or two times. <laughs> Play us any random Mark Messier Stanley Cup winning moment. Well, the Oilers are going to start one parade now that every kid that ever played a hockey game would like to join. And there's not even a band, Bob. And Messier will pass head cup to the teammates. Of the five. So there it is. Yeah, one of the the five that we won on the road. So I love talking about this cup in particular. Lots of people will mention 94. Guarantee New York Rangers breaking the drought. The dynasty years with Wayne Gretzky. This one, your captain, no Gretzky. Not often talked about. What do you remember from that year? Uh, unexpected. Uh, you know, after <laughs> Wayne got traded, uh, we, we, uh, we didn't do so well the next year. Uh, had a tough time. Um, things weren't looking great. Uh, obviously, a big change without Wayne. Everybody was saying we, could, we, were, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't win without, win without Wayne. And, of course, uh, we had an amazing group of uh, players that had won Stanley Cups before. We had some good, great young players that chopped a lot of wood for us. And, sure enough, we won our fifth Cup in the seven years in, right inside uh, Boston Garden. Does it hold a special place in your heart because it was the first as captain and because so many people were saying, you can't win this Cup without Gretzky and Edmonton? Like, did that, is that special to you? Uh, it's not special. In fact, uh, when, we, when we were celebrating, the one thing that we all kind of thought about was uh, how much we miss Wayne being Aww. there celebrating with us uh, because he was such a big part of, a, of the first four but I can honestly say that uh, it didn't really matter that I was a captain. I think what this uh, uh, Stanley Cup really symbolizes was the sheer uh, grit and determination of the veterans that had been on that team uh, with Wayne and that were able to, to lead us to another Stanley Cup so it was, uh, it was an amazing uh, Stanley Cup win. Uh, speaking of Wayne, Ovechkin. It's 134 goals away from breaking Gretzky's record. Gretzky says it'd be great if he broke it. He's lying. He doesn't want to break it. I think we all agree on that. I don't think you so. know, he always said records are meant, are meant to be broken uh, when he broke uh, Gordie Howe's. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> so, people are saying 39 years old, 2024-25 season could be when Ovechkin does break the record. One, do you think he'll do it? And two, what has to happen for him to break the record? Continue to stay healthy. Uh, as you get older, a little uh, injuries start to creep in. It's just uh, inevitable that he's going to have more injuries than he has in the past. He's been remarkably healthy throughout his whole career, which has given him this opportunity to even chase down Wayne. Uh, he's had a lot of uh, work stoppages uh, that have affected him with COVID. And a lot of things that uh, were a chance he didn't get a chance to, uh, to uh, compete and to play as many games as he could have at this point. But in order for him to break it, uh, I think it's going to have a lot of luck. He's going to have to have a lot of uh, um, you know, games where he can play healthy. Uh, the good thing that he has going for him is he can score from anywhere. And as he gets older, he is going to start to slow down, but he still has got that ter- possesses that tremendous shot oh, where yeah. he can score from the outside. And uh, we're all going to be waiting in anticipation to see how it unfolds because if he does it, it's going to be a remarkable uh, record to to have broken. I guess don't talk to him about age because he's 36 years old, already 31 goals. He's basically on a breakneck speed in terms of this season. He's an MVP candidate already at the first half of the year. Like, you've played the third most games in NHL history, okay? You know a thing or two about longevity and how to keep your body NHL ready. Like, what impresses you about seeing him at 36 producing the way he is? Well, the thing that I've always loved about Alex is how uh, much he enjoys scoring and how much he enjoys when his teammates score and the celebration. I think his his enthusiasm is, is infectious. Uh, one of the great things of any leader that, uh, you know, can galvanize the players around you. But, you know, for me, uh, you know, the, the thing that he possesses is his size and his strength. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, he has been uh, a wrecking ball at times, if you will, and he's played an aggressive game and he still remained healthy. So uh, I, I don't expect that to continue as he gets older. I think he will be able to pick his spots when he, when he and chooses when he is playing a more physical style. He won't do it for 82 games, obviously, but he will do it in the playoffs. He'll pick his, his spots better than he probably has in the past. But 
It's inevitable as you get older, uh, you do start to get banged up a little bit, little nagging injuries that kind of slow you down. And the more, the thing that I really recognized as I played into my 40s was uh, you need a lot more rest than you used to as, as when you were younger. Uh, you could practice, you could go out, you could do everything and not have even, <laughs> and not even affect you. But as, you, as I got older, I recognized that, uh, you know, I couldn't practice as hard, I couldn't practice as often because I had to save all my resources for the games themselves. And of course, at some point, then there becomes diminishing returns. So... Uh, but he, you're right, he doesn't look like uh, he's slowing down at all right now. But as you get into that 39, 40, 41, as we've even seen with Tom Brady now, things start to change a little bit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.